What's good everybody? It's your boy DB Kicks. We're back with another video today. I'm gonna bring you guys a little bit something different, the more so along the lines of a discussion. Also, uh multiple unboxings. It has been a minute, but I'm gonna unbox a couple pair of sneakers for you guys today. And you know, gonna tie that to the discussion as as stated in the title of the video. I actually haven't copped anything in like two and a half months and then I caught a couple of good deals. All right, so the best time to be a sneakerhead. Why would I say something like that? Why is this the best time to be a sneakerhead? Hold up. All right, all of my latest pickups, all in a week. Sounds a little excessive, I get it. But just hear me out for a second. So 2023, a lot is going on, you know, economy wise you know uh sneakers that are dropping the amount of sneakers that are dropping a lot plays into my opinion on why uh this is the best time to be a sneaker you guys also see um this ain't scripted so i'm gonna be jumping around a little bit but resale on shoes is like it's tanked a lot of shoes aren't flipping like that unless it's your travis scott's you know your, your you know your really really exclusive collaborations that's the only stuff that is really, really reselling right now. And also, I think more people are venturing out. You got the ASIC Gel Kayano. You got J-Tips uh, Socking that just came out that people are loving, even though I don't like that shoe. Um, there's just more variety. There's more options out here. I think people are just looking for more. For people like myself, uh, sneakerheads, and people that really love to collect sneakers, all different times of sneakers, or all different kinds of sneakers, different classic models i think this video is for you first of all we're going to talk briefly about each shoe you guys see this box um eventually i'll get a review out for it but i have them right here this is the nike mac attack recently released these had some hype on it all right your boy travis scott wore them um this was a retail shoe or nothing for me there there was just no way i was gonna pay resale price for a shoe like this and I struck out on release day, I think. I just said, oh, oh well. And then one day I was at work last week, and if you guys know Soul Links, shout out Soul Links. Uh, I had that notification on, and a link came out. Didn't even know what it was. I just was like, eh, let me see what this is. Sure enough, an overseas website, uh, Hy I think Hypebee something or HBX had these for retail, and they sat for a few minutes. So the smaller sizes did tend to uh, sit a little bit longer, but the point is, you know, uh, we're in a time like being patient actually pays off when it comes to copping. There's no reason to jump and just say, I got to pay resale. I got to have it now. And not to say that I haven't been that guy before. Um, I definitely have, but you know, just you, you get older, you grow and you mature. Um, you just realize it's like, it's never, it's never that serious. Maybe one, I allow myself one to two pairs a year, um, that I'll pay good money for you know resale I'll say resale as in like 350 to like 500 you know what I'm saying I'll do something like that maybe once or twice a year versus every shoe that comes out I gotta have it I gotta have it that's just not a smart move at all in my opinion so yeah this was a retail pickup the big boy right here and these are these are 100% shoes that I've been eyeing like you know on a stock X list or something like that um, nothing hyped all right so this sneaker right here back in 2017 or prior instant sellout instant sellout shoe you could not get it you're gonna pay 250 300 for it i think i've seen them even higher than that and now you're getting them for like 80 bucks i paid i think before tax these are 78 dollars. retail is 180 and it is a beautiful sneaker the gold Air Max 97, the gold bullet. I do have the silver bullet from years ago. From years ago, um, I've been eyeing these and eyeing these, and I just knew when it came out. I was like, you could see where the market was going. I was like, mm, 180, I'll wait. I seen them hit 129, 111, 125, whatever. All I, I just seen the price go just like this, and as soon as I seen 78 dollars, I said, all right, I'm not waiting no longer. So this was a super must cop all right in my opinion very classic sneaker um a very good sneaker like if you're gonna have an air max collection or an air max 97 to have gold and silver bullets that's what you want but um 78 dollars all right 78 bucks keep that in mind another pickup 
not necessarily will ever really resell like that, but a shoe you can't ever go wrong with. A classic, the ultimate classic in my opinion, and it's summertime. The Air Force One Low, color of the month, every single color of the month was pretty fire in my opinion. You had the white and pink, the white and blue, um, I think there's a all baby blue and white, all red and white, whatever. Plenty of colors, but um, these all have great quality materials on it, little accessories that come with it. But overall, better shape for the Air Force One. And I got a few glue stains on it, but it is what it is, and a gum bottle. But my point, these retail for $150. I picked these up for $63 for tax. So I ordered these in the gold 97s together really 160 dollars that's less than the retail for a pair of air max 97s all right again perfect time to be a sneakerhead perfect time to build that collection if you're not really caring about the hype me personally i just love a good shoe like that's why i ended up with so many shoes because i don't really you know it's more so cooler to have like a cool like rotation is what people do now but if you just like collecting man this is just the time i mean you, you cannot deny a white and pink Air Force One, especially for summertime. And just period, not even just summer, but especially, especially summer, all right? So we got those two. I've never seen these in person. The Air Force One, um, I actually found a pair at the outlets months ago, but they were 90 bucks. I said, nope, not low enough, not low enough. 63, yes, sir. That's what Air Force One should be. Air Force One should be $75. 150, nah. I will admit, it was a little bit more on the impulse because the price was just like, bro, are you serious? But I've been looking at it for a while. Every time I see a tweet come out about the price, I'm like, mm, not cheap enough, not cheap enough. They hit $62. I said, oh yeah, yes. And I'm at Air Max. I love my Air Max ones, especially my Air Max ones. So I'm excited to see this pair right here. I'm gonna unbox it so y'all can see it first. I've never seen these in hand. Mm. The ugly duckling, the ugly duckling Air Max One, man. These are fire, man. Talk about like really, really good like materials on this shoe. Um, look, a couple of like craftsman issues, but 62 bucks. I mean, come on, like extra pecan colored laces. But yeah, these retail for. 150 i believe but these like no joke have premium materials on it for 63 dollars you can't beat that super dope colorway and, and this this pair and the other pair was on sale so so all in all i think all three sneakers that was on sale i paid a 220 for three pairs of classic dope sneakers that i definitely plan on wearing sneakers that if you wear you mess them up a little bit you might not even care that much so pretty much to sum this up man this is this is just the best time to be a sneakerhead forget the hype y'all forget the hype just cop some dope kicks man this is the th there's so many good sales out right now and just so many classic sneakers sitting going on sale that it's hard to choose like i think i seen lucky green twos and cement twos for like ninety dollars bro like <laughs> these times don't come often but i do kind of feel like the game is leveled out right now I, I i can't really predict is it gonna go back to 2018 or during covid or is it gonna just keep declining or or whatever the case is but right now it's an excellent time to uh to just be buying sneakers man and i'm proud to be a, i'm proud to be in the kick still you know what i mean um definitely have cut back from what i buy but Stuff like this comes around at the, these prices. You're gonna you're gonna be upset if you don't buy it. So let me know what you guys think about a topic video like this. Also, let me know your thoughts. Do you think that this is the best time to be a sneakerhead? I've already shared, I've already shared my thoughts. 100%. Uh, this is the time to buy kicks. I'm telling y'all to get you you know New Balance. Same thing too. Teddy Santa's New Balances. They going on sale for like 130 premium quality premium comfort all right you can't beat that so let me know what you guys think about this video i appreciate you guys coming through showing love to the channel look out for reviews on some of these sneakers maybe not all four but maybe one or two your boy is busy as of lately and your boy db kicks is out